One of my favorite plugin companies, UJAM, just released a brand new virtual guitarist plugin, Amber 2. This is an evolution of their previous Amber uh, guitar plugin. Unlike other Ambers you might know or have heard of, this plugin is definitely not a turd. And this is a strummed and picked steel string acoustic guitar plugin. So if you're not a guitarist or you're just looking for a quick way to add some guitar to your tracks, this is an awesome tool if you're looking for some acoustic guitar. As you can see here, you can get some instant sparks and ideas. Don't waste any time getting into your brilliant, getting your brilliance out and into your DAW with acoustic accompaniments from your very own Session Pro Virtual Guitarist Amber 2. So it's basically like having your own session guitarist at your disposal, uh, whether it's an intimate indie song, a larger than life pop ballad, or a legendary rock hymn. The countless chords, octaves, riffs of this beautiful steel string will have you singing instantly. So you can see at a glance what's inside. So uh, what's new with this one is you have an instrument mode. So it lets you basically play, play the guitar like it sounds like you're playing the guitar as you use your MIDI keyboard or what have you. Um, you have new open chords feature for extra variety and picking on top of strumming. So you can add picking as well as strumming. Uh, there's more than 30 styles and 350 different phrases. It also has a bunch of built-in effects, 30 different stomp box emulations and 60 um, effects modes. And real quick, if you want to try this out for yourself, just go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash amber and you can get a free trial of this. I believe for 30 days you can try it out and see how you like it. And if you do decide to buy this plugin, you can get a 20% discount by using my code OAA-20 at checkout. Now this doesn't stack with any other sales that they have going on. So if they're currently running a sale, uh, then that will not stack. But otherwise you can get 20% off Amber and all other UGM plugins when you use my code OAA-20 at checkout. All right, so let's see what this can do. So I was actually using this to create like an acoustic version of one of my tracks. Uh, so let's just hear what it's doing right now. So as you can hear, it sounds pretty great. It sounds like an acoustic guitar. Um, but let's look at the interface here. So you got a lot of different ways to customize your sound. So first off here, we have a blend mode. So we can decide what the sound is coming from. Is it coming from a mic or a pickup? So you can hear the pickups a bit thinner and uh, lighter, a little bit brighter. And then the, the mic option makes it a little bit darker. So I kind of liked it there. And there's other some other character controls here. So we have right now set to real. So this is gonna be the most authentic sounding guitar sound, but there's, you can, you can, we can also go soft or tame or hard. So we'll sample those. So it's darker and softer. Here at hard mode, probably good for like a chorus or something. So I like it here on real. Um, then we have this this mix knob, so it's mixing in some different character here. So we can go to subtle and hear how that sounds. Neutral. So there's some different ways to control the character there. And we have air here, so this is if you want it to be darker or brighter. You can also have a focus here. This is like presence, basically, if you want to add presence to it. And this is really cool width, so you can make it like a doubled guitar, so we can have it off if you just want it to be mono. So that sounds really nice and rich and warm, so it's basically having a double track guitar there. And then you've got some stomp boxes here, different effects, so if you choose to have these on, so we could have some chorus if we wanted to. Compressor. Mm -hmm. 
effect there. So you can see tons of effects there. And you also have this finisher control here. So this is even more effects here. We can have, add like some actual effects or just ambience if we wanted to. So let's just turn that down. Right now it's removing resonance, so if we turn it down. <laughs> kind of 8-bit guitar. So pretty cool. So, right, you can have it just sound like a really natural guitar or you can have it really sound really effective and not even sound like a guitar at all. Uh, and then, of course, you have all these different presets up here that you can load in from different genres. Uh, so really cool. And that will change up the character and all these different effects here to make it sound like that particular genre. And then you have the player down here. So there's different phrases you can have. Uh, the guitar playing if we click the keyboard thing here we can kind of get descriptions of what's going on here so you can have it play like muted quarter notes or muted eighth notes or open just different chord rhythms here so let's sample some of these so right now i'm doing a style phrase So that's really cool. Look at all kinds of different phrases here. And there's also different styles. So we can pull up a different style here if we want. That's pretty cool. And if you don't want to be playing like actual chords, you just want to play the notes that you have, you can just choose note mode. Now, of course, what it's playing here are chords I've written in, so it's going to sound not that much different. That's pretty cool. And then there's instrument mode here too. So if you don't want it to like be playing a set pattern, you can create your own patterns here with different picking sections, strumming sections, different artic articulation, um, different strokes up and down, slides. So this is really cool. So you can see if we want to add picking, we can do that here. We go to the instrument section here. All right, so looking at the different phrases here, this is how you can really add like a dynamic, create a dynamic performance here. So that's what I'm kind of doing here is I'm starting off with some picking and then there's going to be like a build up and then it's like open strumming. So you can see if you look over here, it starts off right here with muted eighth note open. And then it goes to build up and then this style phrase over here. 
So it gives you lots of different customization options. But with that, let's look at some of the presets here. So right now I'm using evergreens. This is a pretty natural sound here in the introduction section. That's pretty cool. That's a nice picking section there. Because you can get everything from a very natural sounding acoustic guitar all the way to something that's just an impression of an acoustic guitar. So really lots of flexibility. It's really cool. So if you want to get some more of a organic acoustic feel to your songs or you want to create like acoustic versions of your electronic music. Or maybe you're just looking for a faster way to add some guitar to your tracks. This is an awesome tool. So check it out. Like I said, you get a 30 day free trial. I'll have a link to this in the description or you can go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash amber. If you thought this video was cool and you want to check out some other awesome guitar plugins, then click on the video playing on the screen right now. With that, have an awesome day and keep creating.